Stay your man. John Mighty. With the space. He looks mad. I bet he's wearing a Frankenstein at home. <laughs> and that was the first time he saw Dr. Weldon, or Doc Croc, like we called him. The maddest bleeding scientist you'd ever meet on a day's walk, as Grandad used to say. Eh, uh, that was before he ran away to Canada, on Grand. See this little yoke here, this measures the radiation. And if the needle goes to the halfway point, well, you'd have to evacuate the whole street. And if it went all the way over there, you'd have to evacuate the whole city. You must be very brainy with glasses like that. <laughs> They said you're reading the Frankenstein at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your face looks bleeding funny when you laugh. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. yeah. Have a go. Have a go. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Do you think could I one day be a scientist? Of course. But I'm bleeding thick at school. That's what our teacher, Mr. Keane, says. Here's a go with your glasses. Maybe that'll do the trick. <laughs> Guess who? We don't want your bleeding, Bob. Don't you dare take him back, Fuka. Well, I, I think I'm finished here. Thanks. Nice. Hugh Weldon. Pete, not so well done. Right. I'll take that. Oh, me! It... Oh, this meteor, I did something extraordinary about it. You know, I think it might have come from Mars. In fact, I'm sure it has. Do you know, Hugh, um, when you drive a taxi, you come across all kinds, but what I keep asking myself is how I got you. In your taxi? Oh, yeah. That's right. I mean, look at that. I came all the way over here to look at a lump of rock. Well, you know, I don't exactly approve of you being here. <laughs> Do I embarrass you? No. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk later. We want that meteor back, mister. You was bleeding well rubbed it. Uh, none of your language. Get your paw away from me, you big blue bit. Oh, Jesus! Okay, cheerio, cheerio. Did you have to pay him? Well, did you have to pay him? Shush. Thanks a lot. Bye, Doctor. You yeah, cheerio. Hey, get in. See you next time. Get in here. Mister, we want our meteor bike. Our mommy and daddy sent it down to us, so it's ours. Shut up, Sue, you idiot. Biscuit. That's for you, for a biscuit. There you go. I like these ones myself. So, after long. Me too. Oh, right. There you go. So, your mummy and daddy said it did they? And how do they do that? They live on a stair and they threw it down to us for a present. Oh, it's a present? So what are your mummy and daddy doing living on a stair? Well, they're stupid. Oh. We just made that up. We're not thick. No, no, no. Sure. It's a little bang up. You call it dead. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes does that. 
Jesus, Mr. Oh, we can drive better than that. Now, now we have it. If you don't believe me, ask Sergeant Maloney. <laughs> Careful now, don't put your fingers down. Oh, yeah, they look See the little one? It's called Charlie. Monkeys. Named after Charles Darwin. He was the fellow that thought that we were all descended from apes. I'm descended from no bleeding ape. Oh, no, no, I, I, I don't think he... he uh, well, I'll come this way. Did he? Did he, Charlie? Is this where you keep your Frankenstein dog? This is my garden. You never cut the grass, dog. It's pretty deaf. Can't even see where it's going. Have a look in place. Jane. Like it? This old as well? Yeah. Did you make it all yourself? Yeah, I made all that. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Ursa Minor, Camelopardalis, Andromeda, Aries, Pisces, Cassiopeia. Perseus, Cepheus, Draco. And Doc Crook had to tell us about his girlfriend, Carmen. And of course, it was Sue that was doing all the asking. Girls. So when are you getting married? Well, um, I, uh... Do you not want to marry her? Do you not love? Please, no. Look you, you rat. And we waited with Doc in the car. And we were like little detectives, so we were waiting for his girlfriend to come home. Is that who? It's about time. Does she drive a taxi, Mr. Doc? Taking the kids home. Where did you get three kids all of a sudden? The kids shop. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs> and why aren't you at home with your mommy and daddy? <clears throat> Just shut up and give them a kiss. What's wrong? I better get them home. Wim. I'm sick of that meteor. Get inside there. Grand, you. Doc is going to give it back to us. Yep. Isn't that right, Doc? Get inside, you. Come here. Listen, I don't particularly mind you taking those kids out without asking me, right? But just let me know the next time. I'm sick with worry. I'm really sick with worry about them. I mean, you don't know this area. You don't know what it's like. You can just take off in your car and drive uh, away. I'll be, I'll be back. For what? To collect the crater next time? Actually, oh, this is to get out. Aren't you so much trouble? Oh, it's no trouble at all. Not oh, at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of dinkies. What did you get? Oh, I got a young one down here. Oh, and I got a castle. You got a pump car. Look at my house, I do with you. Didn't you notice? Notice what? Notice what he says. The grandmother was upset. Why? What planet did you land from? Hugh, that was probably the most embarrassing moment of my life. What? <sighs> Toys. And get the meteor back. Mister. I'll board your house down if you don't give us back our media. Well, it's of no use to you, is it? We've things planned for it. It's ours anyway. So it's none of your business what we're going to do with it. This place is doing well, wouldn't it? I'm only missing. I wouldn't really burn it down. I'd get Dave to do it. <laughs> 
You see, Grand is going mad with the order. So we told him about Grand getting drunk and attacking the junkies and everything. And we knew we'd get the picture. There, what do you think? <laughs> it's for me. No, it's for the kid. I'm taking it over for Halloween. Oh, very nice of you. You, um, do you remember the guy that was at the kid's house? What guy? Oh, come on, you. I know his kind. I see trouble. It's, it's, it's a sixth sense you pick up driving a taxi. You know the ones that are going to be trouble. And I know a few like him where I grew up. He said to give the meteorite back to the children. Well, what would they do with it? Sure, that's not what they need. Oh, and you know what they need? Maloney. <laughs> <laughs> a pumpkin? We thought you were supposed to be bringing us back our media. Oh, well, you know, it's not as easy as all that. There are rules and regulations. Laws. Mister, we're going to burn your house down. Why do you keep bringing them things? I like desert. Yeah, well, you can take that away. Why? Because I'm their grandmother, and I, I promised their mother I'd look after them, and I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Now take it away. I don't need. Of course you will. <laughs> it's a warning. I told you I'd burn your house down. But there's no way to behave. It's no way to behave going round robbing people's meteors. It was only missing this time, Doc. Next time we're born if I real. something on my mind for, for quite some time now. You sound like you're, you're going to ask me to marry you. Oh, no, no. No, no uh, The meteorite. A meteorite landing in someone's garden. It's... Uh, well, it, that kind of thing is such a rarity. There must be a purpose to it. You see, it, it must be part of some... some plan. Yeah? Oh, come on, get to the point. Stop beating around the bush, will you? Sorry. Uh, I think it's about time we got married. Well, that's right. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. No, sorry. Oh, no, I, I thought uh, uh, Carmel and I should should get married. Uh, uh, and, and then um, we could adopt Mickey, Dave and Sue. What? What are you talking about? You're... Are you fucking out of your mind? You're a magma. Are you a lunatic? What does Carmel think about this? Oh. Ah, oh, well, I mean, have you told the kids? No. No. Well, thank God for that. Listen, you get out of my... Get out of my house. Get out of my house. How dare you come in here and suggest adopting my grandchildren? Yeah, and don't come back. My God. You want to... Have you no sense? Christ, you're Neanderthal. You know what that is, don't you? Yes, ne Neanderthal man was... I just thought... What? What did you just think? That this is all part of a cosmic plan? Yes, now that you mention you, it. Aside from what you're doing to me, you're playing with their lives, with your cosmic rubbish. Oh, you. You great big ape of a fool. If only you could see. But this is it. It's the end. I've put up with a lot, but this, this is just too much. You didn't even think of asking me. 
It's over between us. Over. Don't open that door! Stop crumpling! Hey. Uh, I was on my way to the observatory. I wondered if... Look, I, um, I came to say I was sorry. Well, I'm just a very stupid man sometimes. Not sometimes. All the time. <laughs> I like taking them places, that's all. Seemed like a good idea. I'd never take them away from you. Grand let them before he starts blubbering. Okay. I can go with you. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Don't you go try to brainwash those kids. You behave yourself. Of course we will. Yeah, Brad. Are you sure Gaff is real? No, his is the dog across the road. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. It's in there. The telescope. Careful, don't run. the doc will do a deal with you. We'll get you back home if you give us back our media. Is it a deal? Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, for Christ's sake, you get a grip. Oh, Jesus. I love those kids, man. I love you too, Carmen. If only there was some way for it all to...
say here it's not so hard. I love you, Carl. And I said it. I love you, Carl. I love you, Carl. I love you, Carl! <laughs> Carol! Carol! Where have you been? Up the mountain. Up the mountain? Carol, there's something I, I, I really have to tell you. Hugh, I've no time. Now, come on, there's something far more important we've got to talk about. Oh, you want me to give him money? Mm-hmm. I don't even know him. And how will I know I'll get it back? You won't. Oh, I won't. I see. Oh, come on, Hugh, you're filthy rich. Well, that's hardly the point. He hasn't heard, Jesse. No, Hugh. Carol, when I was up the mountain just now, I suddenly saw everything clearly for the first time. Hugh, stop changing the subject. Are you going to get the money or not? Have you got it? You've got it. Listen, mister, you better have it. Where are you going? Huh? I, I left it in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, and don't you go near Carmel again. I was in love with a woman. We were so in love that one day we were in Glendalough and we went swimming in the lake. And she wanted us to drown ourselves. I didn't. She did? No. She left me. Is that why you started taking drugs? No. That happened after, all right, but no. I was only 17 then. Why are you telling me all this? The way you looked at me a minute ago... was like I didn't have a life. Didn't ever have one. Know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think... I think so. And when Mick died... I promised him I'd look after the kids, but... I can't. You don't know what that does to me. Every minute, of every day. Can you imagine that? No. I didn't think so. You're just a brainy fool, aren't you? Yeah, I suppose so. I was going to ask you that... You know, Lily, Carmen's right about me. I don't know anything about life. Oh, I, I know all about the universe and, and the cosmos. and don't know a thing about life. See, my parents never loved me. <laughs> I, I, I was... I was their only child. You know, I, I, I was their, their accident. No. no, they said that. You, you should be telling all this to Carmen, not to me. I tried, I tried, but 
Lily, will you help me? Please, if you speak to her, she'll listen to I'm you. I'm afraid, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on? What's on. wrong? We've got to get out of here. Why? All of us, quickly. Why? They know I'm here. Jeez. You're all in danger. Let's go. What's happening? I think we'll catch them. to have to carry it all the way, I can tell you. Isn't it great? It's about time you gave it a name. Yeah, it is. What do we call it? We call it Peach Meteor. Peach Meteor? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Okay, all together. Peach Meteor! Mr. Devine, I... We, uh, the residents, we can't have somebody with a, a meteor in their garden. Either the meteor goes or you'll all have to go. Yeah. Where do you want us to go? To Mars, is it? <laughs> we mean what we say. Well, so do we. <laughs> and so, the bottle over the meat.